to Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host, as always, Headphones Neil, bringing you this week's set of reviews of stuff that I've been watching and playing and all that usual stuff. So I'm going to start it off with um, a couple of new items that I've seen and then a quick summary of films I have seen and then the usual Roller Coaster Tycoon and Pirate Doom updates. So with that being said, I had a chance to watch Lord of the Rings Rings of Power Season 2 Episode 4. So while this was still a continuation of the prior episodes, um, we do have more progression as far as the discussion by the elves to get their own rings like the elves, um, the stranger dealing with this other um, guy who tells him that um, the stranger is going to be the one to go after um, the Dark Wizard and um, Sauron, which to me right off the bat the dark wizard dark wizard reminded me of sauron or no, about saruman and so i'm getting to thinking that um that's kind of what like that they're the characters that we see right now as far as Saur, uh, saruman and the stranger are concerned are this era's gandalf and saruman so um overall like this this season can uh continues to be a good season they've fixed a lot of stuff from season one um, even though for, like, I haven't seen articles that the viewership for Rings of Power um, isn't getting as good reviews, it's kind of dropped off as far as viewership goes, and I think that's still because of the stuff that happened in Season 1, so for me, I'm still putting it out there that I'm, and I'm holding out faith that Season 2 is actually going to finish stronger than 1. Um, so for now, I'm still recommending it. Overall, it's much better. They're doing better character progression, story, um, development and all of that good stuff. So for me, I still give it um, generally positive um, reviews and all that overall t um, much better than season two. So for me, I would say probably just do a, like watch a YouTube recap of season one and then jump right into season two and enjoy that for what it is. Um, I also had a chance to watch uh, Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. So um, I didn't see it in the theaters, but I saw it now. I heard generally good things about it. It serves as a good prequel to Mad Max Fury Road, and it does generally hold up. Um, I enjoyed all of it. I liked the chapters, the um, interaction between the characters. Uh, my favorite character was actually the Hemsworth brother brother that played Dementis. Um, I liked him throughout the whole film. It gave me a good laugh when he said, um, whenever he started talking about the gasoline, I thought that was a pretty delivered where very well. Uh, when they get to the different, different places like Gas Town and Bullet Town and um, wherever M. Morton Joe is, um, all of that just generally everything worked out perfectly. So overall, a very, very good prequel. I recommend watching it if you haven't. Um, and I think the reason I also like the visuals of it were they're very reminiscent of the art styles of the podcaster Scott Johnson. So um, if you like his art style, then I recommend wa um, watching it. You'll enjoy it. If you like the film, then I definitely recommend checking out his artwork. Um, he's all over social media. He has a bunch of podcasts and stuff, so he's easy to find. Um, so this actually made me want to go back and watch the Mel Gibson Mad Max films. And it looks like they're streaming. Um, I was checking through Prime and I, I still have my HBO um, subscription active. So I think it might be on one of the two, but all three films are there. So I think I'm going to watch those next just to see how they hold up. And um, I also haven't seen them before that I can remember. I mean, I know about the whole little thing about um, who runs Barter Town and all that. Um, so I'm, I kind of want to refresh my memory to watch them just to see how they are and how they hold up and how all the films tie together in the Mad Max universe. Um, with that being said, I also had a chance to rewatch Iron Man 2 and 3 and 3 films still generally hold up for me to the point where now I want to rewatch the Avengers films. 
Um, because I want to say as far as the trilogies or the like, over, like multiple film trilogies or whatever go, um, Iron Man, the Iron Man films are probably my favorite, followed by Avengers. Um, I did enjoy Iron Man two overall, but also notably because we get the portable suit um, in the suitcase, and then in the third film we have all the Iron Man suits that Tony was building while he was in his downtime. So. Um, for me, it uh, creates a good trilogy, and then when you go watch the three, and then you watch Avengers, it does fill out the whole dream issue and the PTSD that um, Tony has in Iron Man three. So you kind of round all of that out nicely together. So um, for me, I still definitely recommend them. Not to say that the Captain America films were not as good but for me they generally work out better um you know because it's one of those things where you have the parallel uh, character comparison between like marvel and dc so iron man is the batman and captain america is kind of the superman i guess so um that's kind of my point of view for that um and then i did have a, uh, um so over the past week i was also looking around at the roller coaster tycoon levels i didn't get a chance to see about unlocking the levels like all the maps but i did find a wacky worlds map that was super easy it's called robin hood and essentially you're supposed the main goal of the map is to have a monthly income of one thousand dollars and so uh they give you a pretty easy and high uh, loan rate so you essentially you can build up a few rides once you build them up you can um bump up the cost to get on the rides and once you do that you have um you'll beat the goal so it's, it's all a matter of how fast you can build the rides whether you do a whole bunch of small ones or a few big ones and then have high prices on the big roller coasters and stuff and then have people pay for it so um, if you want a pretty, uh, really, really easy map, then I recommend playing that level. And again, that was Robin Hood as part of the Wacky Worlds set of maps. And so to round out this week's episode, um, I continued to play um, Pirate Doom 2, overall good levels. Um, I like the kind of level differentiations. They're still very pirate themed. It's kind of just a pro still a progression of the last map or the last game of Pirate Doom 1 where you get um, all these different various pirate themed locations and then you know you're in the jungle, you're in on a boat, you're in the ocean and all that stuff. So um, I'm curious to see how it ends but still overall very um, good game. Um, the Some of the level gameplay times for me have started to tick up so it looks like they are getting a little bit more difficult, intricate, uh, more to see, and all of that good stuff. So um, I'm uploading them as I finish each level, but definitely a good uh, mod to play. And to that um, point, I have started looking at the next gameplay for that I want to do. And so once I've had a chance to test that out, then, um, and if it works, then I'll probably play that next. But as far as current gameplay, Pirate Doom 2 is the way to go. Um, so that's all there is for this particular episode. Like I said, not too much, or I don't think I mentioned at the top of the episode, but um, over um, all I didn't really have watched too much. It was kind of a busy week for me, but like I said, I'm going to start watching the Mel Gibson um, Mad Max films. So I'll review those as I got those watched and finished and all of that. Uh, continuing to play Pirate Doom and then the whole thing about Roller Coaster Tycoon and unlocking all the maps on the Android app are, is still a to-do item. But as far as this week's episode goes, um, that's really all there is for that. So thanks for tuning in. The website is headphonesneal.reviews. It has the links of past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, all the social media sites on, on, I'm on if you want to comment on those posts and all that. The YouTube channel for the gameplay videos is youtube.com slash pateln01. And as far as early access to the podcast, the link to the YouTube version and all that, you can visit patreon.com slash pateln01. But that is all for this particular episode. Thanks for tuning in.